All right, this evening I am going to try to replace the battery on my GoPro remote that I got a number of years ago along with my GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, which is what I'm using to make this video. So the camera is still running strong, but this guy, um, it just doesn't hold a charge. You can see battery low. Um, I had it plugged in all night and it just, uh, it just doesn't take a charge. So I went online, I did a little research and I found what I think is the right battery. And it came in a little packet of all sorts of goodies and I'm just going to try to replace it with the goodies that it came with. So I'll put uh, links in the description in the video so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. But it's a relatively small battery. You've got your positive, negative, and signal wires. This thing has all sorts of little little doodads. Some wipes. Well, you know what this is. Stick on the seal to the front side if the battery back side needs to be faced upward. All right. So a wipe. This looks like a guitar pick. I'm guessing it's not. Somebody knows, you can tell me what it is. Uh, and then a bunch of, oh, this is cool, little, um, little screwdrivers. And that's like some sort of, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to like hold something up with this. Don't know. This is what you would use if you're changing the SIM card on the cell phone. I don't know, there might be some other use for it. But let's, uh, let's dive in, let's see if we can fix this. I've also got my soldering iron, which is not plugged in, so I'm gonna plug that in now. Get that warming up as we're going here. One of these days I'll get a proper soldering uh, set up. <coughs> Okay, try not to bump the camera too much. So I guess I can turn it off. Okay, let's get rid of this strap. It's just gonna get in my way. I'm gonna take this thing out too. A little key, which is also there's a that's where the charger goes also. And looks like I can take some small torques. Let's try this one. No, oh, this is teeny, teeny, tiny. Well, that's not gonna work. Let's see if I can get bigger ones in here. Even that, I think, is for just one of this kit, and that didn't seem to work. This one probably also. Won't. Oh. Okay, this is a little bit too small. I don't want to. Damage the screw. I just can't find the right size. Looks like it's not in this pack. So I will resort to another pack. And let's see. I didn't be able to use the one I have on here. Yep, cool. Trusty little bucket. Don't want to put it too close to the soldering iron. Okay. Close this. Get out of my way. These are worthless, so get those out of my way. It might be useful for some other application in the future. These screws are much longer than I thought they would be. Oh, sorry. Move the camera. Okay. Got me this one. Three, number four, and I'm hoping that it'll just pop right off. Let's try to do this one. Let's see. Yep. Okay. All right. Then. Oh, it looks like it has some sort of a. Uh, uh, sticky material to keep 
keep that down. So let's peel it up carefully. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. Um, I don't really care too much about the battery, but I don't want to damage the board that it's connected to, which looking at it looks like I'm actually gonna have to take the board off as well because it looks like I'm going to be soldering onto the other side. I probably could have Googled this a little bit more or YouTubed it to see exactly what I'm dealing with, but uh, where's the fun in that? Okay, yes, definitely some sticky stuff there. And it looks like I've got one, two, three teeny tiny Phillips screws that need to come up here. So I can pop the board off because we're going to be soldering on the other side. But let's just do a quick size comparison. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, good. Good sign. Alright, let's actually go back into this little kit. Did have a teeny tiny Phillips screwdriver. Don't want to strip these, but it looks like it's working. See that? Teeny, teeny, tiny. There's three of them. Oop, I accidentally turned it on. I'll turn it back off. Turn off. Come on. All right, well, it'll turn off. Um, okay, this last screw. At least I think it's the last screw. They're all the same size, which is nice. Okay, I'll leave that. Oh, I want to do a course of iron, put that there. Okay, um, I wonder if I'm just gonna pop it out at this point. Yep, okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it's actually connected through a little serial connection here. I wonder if I can very gently pop that out. Good. All right, so I'll have to remember to put that back in when, uh, when I reinstall. Okay, so I think it's pretty straightforward from here. Gonna be doing a little bit of soldering. We've got positive signal and negative. Don't want to forget that, um, but, but it's pretty easy because on the board itself, there's a little plus on the positive, a little negative for the negative for the ground, and then that just would leave the um, signal wire left. So now take my nice warm soldering iron, get this out of the way. Well, let's just see if we can remove the existing battery from it. I'm going to use my handy dandy holder here. Let's actually put the soldering iron back down for a second without burning anything. All right, um, so I don't care too much about this battery. I think I can probably just clip it. And then here, make this a little bit easier and if I if it was really teeny tiny and I couldn't see anything I would uh, I'd look through the magnifying glass I just realized this will be much easier if I use something to grab the wire and pull it away as I'm both soldering and desoldering sorry if I bumped the camera again uh, okay I will this guy here. This should be good. I should be able to just grab that, and pull it 
hole on it and pop it off. I'm gonna get a little bit of a better grip with the alligator here. Okay. All right, now to remove the existing one. Just put in a little bit of pressure. That's pretty easy, number one. Pretty easy, number two. And pretty easy, number three. All right, so now this battery, done with. Down. Now we just need to reverse that process. I will um, tin the tips here just a little bit. Um, I think the order I want to do it is negative signal positive. And I think I can just remove these little things. So we're going to do negative. Signal positive. All right. Gonna get my little helper. Um, like I said, I do want to tin the tips just a little bit, so I can do that very, very easily. Okay. much. Okay. Okay, do a little bit more on this one. This one. Okay, now what I said I was going to do was go negative to positive, but I actually think it will be easier to do a positive over and in. So, I need to readjust my alligator clip here just a little bit. Make it a little easier on myself. Make sure I can touch that to there real easily. I can. All right, I should be able to do all three of them in pretty much rapid succession. I do want to clean off my soldering iron. I have a sponge down here that is you guys can't see, but trust me, it's there. Okay, clean that off just a little. All right, and here we go. Like the way that's set. Okay, a little too much solder, but it didn't touch the other one, so I think I'm okay. Okay, that's number two. Sorry if you can't see. Number three. Okay, they are all on. I'll unplug my soldering iron. Faux safety. Clean it off a little bit with the sponge. And put the little plate down here. Keep that safe. All right. So now, I believe it's just a matter of reconstruction. I should be good to go. See, I got them all soldered on there pretty well. And this kind of went underneath here. I'll stick it back basically in the same spot it was in. Um, there was a little twist to the wires before, so I put a little twist back into it. Um, I believe this was pushed up pretty far. I'm not going to kill myself to get it exactly right. Um, I do need to re-put this in. How did that go in there? Like that. A little serial connector.
Easier said than done. Alright, I think it's mostly in there. I don't want to break it. Okay. Pretty sure that it's in. Okay, and then just slap this back in here. Try to not pinch any wires if I can help it. Um, this was, yeah, I don't like where those wires are sitting. Let's smush them around a little bit. Okay, and I think we're in business. Just for fun, I'll just try and turn this on. And it's turning on. It says that the battery is a little bit low, but um, that's all right. It looks like I'm pretty much back in business. So get this out of my way. Put the little teeny tiny screws back in with my screwdriver. These are just about the smallest screws that I can manage. Catch it with my nail. Um, this will be the easiest one to get in first, I think. Almost had it. This might take a few tries. wants to go in. There we go. Okay, number one. In. Don't need to kill myself um, with getting it really, really tight because it's really not going to move, especially once you put the back plate back on. Okay, that's teeny, teeny, tiny screw number two. And then the last one, I think went right there. Looks like a pretty reasonable spot for it. Okay, got it in. Okay, so that's that. Line up the bottom. That's interesting. That these two little um, connectors, they touch right there. And then those two, I guess that's for the charging, yep, go right here and here. So it should just kind of pop back together. I would hope, I wonder if it would be easier for me to put the, nope, I thought it maybe was, would have been easier to put the, um, ho oh, ho, something just fell up. Uh, to put the strap back on. Okay. So now I gotta reline this up. So that's just loose in there, which is good to know, I guess. Uh, this is gonna sit like this, that's gonna sit like that, so it should be something like this. Okay. Get that back sitting in there properly. It's not in there right yet. There we go, okay. So, I'll flip this like that. Put those together. Put at least one of these screws back in it. Here's this. 1.5, I guess. Um, I don't know, it says the size on here. I don't know what the unit is though, but 1.5. I'm gonna say millimeters, but that wouldn't be right, I don't think. Maybe it is, I don't know. Again, don't want to over tighten it. Just want it to be tight enough to get the job done. Change my mind, I'm gonna put all four back in. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about this. That's number two. And this thing is waterproof or it's supposed to be waterproof, so that should probably be a little bit on the tight side, but 
Too loose is too loose, too tight is broke. We don't want to break it. All right, last one. And I am squeezing the case pretty good when I when I tighten these. Now I'm not super happy with any of them actually because this is not quite the right size bit for them, and it does. Um, I would just strip it if I kept going, but I think it's probably good enough. And let's see if it turns back on. Looks like it. Wi-Fi remote. Looking like a connection. So, all right. I at least have a new battery in there. I will. Um, I'll research. I believe that this is just a LiPo battery, 350 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt. Yep. Yeah. Um, so lipos are quite safe uh, environmentally if they are not charged. So I'll just hook up a little light or something to, to this just to drain it 100%. Then I will dispose of it. And let's see if I can put this uh, strap back on here. Should just feed through and then feed through. strap it to, you know, whatever, whatever you got to strap it to. Cool. Pop this back in here. And I'll go do a test charge later, but I think I am in business. Thanks a lot. See you later. Peace.